Good morning, you guys. Happy 2024, happy new year. It is January 1st today. I'm now 23 weeks pregnant, I'll be 24 weeks pregnant. And I thought I would jump right into today's video by sharing my one word. Rather than a new year's resolution or a lengthy list of goals, Dusty and I just come up with one word. So my word for this year is intention or intentional. And I did some reading and I usually end up finding a Bible verse that kind of mirrors my word to kind of keep me anchored and rooted throughout the year in that word. Essentially, it's just about not just living life, but leading life and living a life on purpose, being more mindful with my words, my language, being less impulsive. I would encourage all of you guys to come up with just one word for the new year that you can really focus on. A lot of times when I shoot these videos, I feel very repetitive, like I'm saying or doing or making the same things over and over and over and I'm like, ugh. And I really truly believe that it's less about reinventing the wheel, coming up with new recipes, new workout regimens, new routines every single day. That gets really taxing and tiring and causes us to fall off the wagon. I think what's more important and super effective to lead this healthy, lifestyle and make it sustainable for the rest of your life is consistency. So yes, I eat a lot of the same foods every day, but they're simple, plain, whole foods. If you are struggling to stay on track, it's not your fault. The world leads us to believe that we need to reinvent the wheel, but really all that we need to do is stay consistent. Find what you love and enjoy and stick with it and all things eat, move, rest. If you're looking for a way to really kickstart or jumpstart your new year, transform your health, we actually created a free seven day health transformation guide. We cover so many different aspects of health hangups from weight gain and weight loss, hormone optimization, better sleep, stress and anxiety, how to be plant-based in social settings. There's a lot of good juicy stuff in there, so be sure to check it out. It's linked below. Let's sip, and then I'm gonna do a sweat session, and I'll take you guys through some updates on my pregnancy self-care. What's one word you wanna focus on for 2024? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> my word is intention. My word is Christmas. <laughs> Christmas? <laughs> I was just telling Dusty, I almost feel rebellious about being a certain way on January 1st. It just kind of annoys me. It seems so dorky and cliche to just be like, I'm gonna be so perfect today. Instead, I feel like let's just be ourselves, put less pressure on ourselves and maybe instead just focus on one small change you can make. And if you make one small change every day, those add up very quickly. So I'm not trying to be perfect today. I'm just being myself. I'm just gonna do maybe one thing differently or better. My absolute favorite smoothie is always a green smoothie. We base it around wild blueberries, mango, and bananas. And then from there, I throw in chia, flax, dulse, spirulina, a Brazil nut, as well as some fresh kale and some super clean plant-based protein. And this is our baked berry oats. Max has always called it birthday cake oats because it tastes so, so good. This is me embracing the messiness and being less perfect because I was gonna bake it fresh for the video, but I've done it in another video. So I'm gonna work smarter, not harder. We've got leftovers and we're already running behind on the day, so it doesn't look that pretty, but it tastes so good, even leftover. It's got oats, chia, flax, bananas, berries, protein powder. It's so, so good. Daddy, mm. I love you. I love you. Usually I'll have the smoothie bowl, and sometimes I wait till after my workout to have the oats, or sometimes I have it before. Either way, if it's like this oat bake, or whatever variety of oats. I'll probably have like four slices of this. It's so good. So right now I'm eating about anywhere from 2,500 to 3,000 calories a day. Also, these are my pregnancy or just general wellness supplements I take every day. These are actually the kids' chewables. Max gets two, Liv gets one. It's a Whole Foods organic multi. This is my prenatal multi, also Whole Foods based and organic and then my two algae omega supplements. Before all of that, I take two seed probiotics in the morning, 
an hour before my meals. That's all I'm taking for pregnancy. The rest is just whole foods. Life gon' throw some punches, get some time, she got a roll with it. I am making my once daily dose of sun goddess matcha. This one is USDA organic. It's ceremonial grade. The brand is Peak. They have lots of great herbal teas too. I kind of go on and off of it, but I'm on it right now. Dusty actually just got me this super cool like fabric yoga mat and I put it right by the side of my bed to help encourage me to stretch and slow down and unwind. When I get up in the morning and before I go to bed at night, that's the idea anyways, but that's something I'm definitely working on this new year is doing a little bit of light yoga stretching in the mornings and evenings to help me unwind. And a little behind the scenes, if you struggle with varicose veins during pregnancy, I got these like full length length compression stockings. I got four of them and I've just been wearing it on this leg that gives me trouble rather than having to wear it on both all the way up and it's been working great. So after my morning workout, I like to head into the bathroom and get cleaned up for the day, and that's usually where the bulk of my self-care comes into play, primarily in the form of skincare. I'm not gonna lie, I have definitely been slacking and my skin has taken a little bit of a backseat over the holidays because we went from traveling home to Nebraska for Thanksgiving, then we did a quick impromptu trip to New York City, and then back to Nebraska for Christmas for 10 days. That's a lot of flying, that's a lot of cold, dry air and flaky, undernourished skin because I was not able to travel with everything I wanted to be able to have with me. But thankfully, I came back home to my new favorite from Osea Malibu. So I just opened a brand new jar when I got home from Nebraska. This is the Osea Collagen Dream Night Cream that just launched. But I've been trialing it for about the past 30 days and it has definitely taken the front seat as my new favorite Osea product. It has definitely helped to awaken my dull, dry, sleepy, stressed skin. It's actually the very first night cream that's been clinically proven to reduce signs of stress on the skin, and I can vouch for that. This stuff works miracles. I love the subtle pinky lavender color. It does contain lavender in it, which is very calming and soothing for the skin, as well as colloidal oatmeal. It also has a very, very nice, subtle, relaxing scent. And most of all, it keeps my skin so hydrated. So in the morning, I wake up feeling so revitalized and my skin looks more awake and alive and glowy and dewy and plump. It also contains algae-derived bioretinol, which helps to reduce signs of fine lines and wrinkles and vegan collagen. So be sure to use my discount linked below in the description for a special deal on all things Osea. Some other favorites that I have been using religiously throughout pregnancy that I was so excited to come home to from Nebraska are the Undaria Algae Body Butter, which I've been slathering on my baby bump during the daytime and then in the evenings after I get out of the shower and it's bedtime, that's when I'll usually use the Andaria Algae Body Oil as well on my stomach to just keep it super, super stretchy, just accommodating for baby. Say, so it makes my skin glow. It makes my skin glow. <laughs> I use the ocean cleanser during the day and then I use my herbal face food and after that I apply the Osea Hyaluronic C Serum and I follow it with the Atmospheric Protection Cream. These two I always fly with because I have little small travel sizes of and I find that when I use the Atmospheric Protection Cream I never break out like I used to on flights and again when my skin is stressed. So at bedtime before I put on the Collagen Dream Night Cream I always like to cleanse really thoroughly in the shower. Then I typically like to use my derma roller on my face and then I will follow it with my red light mask that I just got. So this is super funny. It doesn't look that great on, but it really works wonders. I love red light therapy. So this is infrared and near infrared light therapy. It can help again with all kinds of 
wound healing, acne scarring, fine lines and wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, and just a general like plumping and rejuvenation of your skin cells. So I use the mask at night and I've gotten some questions from you guys if I still use the red light wand and yes. So I still like to use this one. This is like my daytime baby now <laughs> and that's my night timer. So I'll use this one because it, I love that it also gives you like the facial massage and the rejuvenation during the daytime. So I'll use this instead of like a gua sha or something like that because it also has the red light and the heat and the vibration um, and the massage. And then finally, my other favorite I can't go without mentioning because I use this so religiously. This is by Main Label. It's called The Sway. So it comes with two hair ties and a clip and it's for heatless curls. So I no longer have to use a curling iron. Usually what I do is just let my hair air dry or sometimes I'll lightly blow dry it just to get it dry at night. And then basically you just wrap your hair around and honestly my curls last less long here in Florida because it's so dewy and humid usually even in the winter but in Nebraska and in New York I kid you not I did this once and I didn't have to wash my hair like at all I washed it once in Nebraska never in New York and it kept the curl so well so you wrap both sides kind of like French braid adding a little bit to each time twist it up and then you've got like a little bun and you can sleep in it tied on top it's really comfortable and soft and this like velvety material helps grip a little bit to your hair so it doesn't slip like the satin ones, which I've tried and I don't love. Those would be my favorites for self-care in the skincare and beauty department. I'll talk about a couple other things, make a quick lunch, and then we'll make a really good dinner. And I'm going ever so subtle with my makeup. Everything I use is pretty much 100% pure. Love their stuff. Super dewy, light, breathable. A couple of other self-care things. Every year I get a new planner. You guys, I have literally saved every planner since like middle school. They're all in like a big storage tote, but nothing beats like just being able to go back and see like, what did I do that month or that day or that year? I have my goals written down in each month and I just really, really love having like a tangible planner to actually write in. So. This is 2023 about to go in storage. I just got a new one that I can link on Amazon. A journal. I'm a journal junkie. I've shared in a past video. I did share this one. Um, this is the one I'm gonna start with. This is Robin Arzon's kind of like a self-empowerment journal and it's different every day. Sometimes you write in long form, sometimes it's fill in the blank and it's gonna keep me busy and keep me guessing so I won't get sick of writing the same thing every day. Last but not least, Intelligent Change just sent me these daily to-do cards that go in this cool little block. So this one's really cool because it's like a daily thing you can prop up. It has where you write your most important task, which today for me was shooting this YouTube video, and then secondary tasks of importance and a mood tracker, and then you can rate the day one to five. It has a little quote in the top. Documenting little details of your everyday life becomes a celebration of who you are. Late lunch, usually I make some type of little light citrus spinach salad in the winters. It's just been so good lately, but because it's such a late lunch, I decided I'm just gonna do my fruit bowl with spinach underneath, and I squeezed lemon on top. It's super good. And then some walnuts for healthy omega-3s. Mm. No. And edamame. Mm. What a cute. What a cute. For dinner, Dusty made our creamy peanut butter curry, which is in our Eat Move Rest Meal Planner and Recipe app. We had it alongside some brown rice with a dollop of coconut on top. And it is one of our absolute favorites when we're needing something indulgent and hearty. Since we're oil free, we always saute in a splash of water. And then in this dish, you add all of the spices until they become heated and fragrant. The spices are ground ginger, coriander, cumin, turmeric, paprika, salt and pepper, and then canned tomato and tomato paste, and a dollop of coconut cream. And then saute with your onion and garlic. 
cooking the brown rice in a separate pot and then when the onion and garlic is tender add in the rest of your veggies so we added carrots and two varieties of sweet potatoes both garnet and Japanese the peanut butter can be added to taste honestly it doesn't take very much and if you want a lower fat dish then just add less we added an extra dash of paprika and then some great white beans instead of the typical chickpeas in this dish and some green peas as well just a reminder the detailed recipe is in our app so I feel honestly like today was not perfect, but like I said, that's not what New Year's is for. It's for getting a little bit better every day. Remember to click the link below to get a discount on Osea products, especially check out their new Collagen Dream Night Cream, and also grab our free seven day health transformation video guide. Everything is linked below. Until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye guys. So embracing imperfection in the new year. This is my gorgeous attire. Kids wanted, well, Liv wanted hot chocolate. Max wanted nice cream. So we made cold chocolate. We made chocolate and ice cream to compromise. I used Sun Warrior Protein and Greens Warrior Blend. So good, because you can't even taste the greens, but they are in there. And it makes every bowl of nice cream and smoothie taste incredible. So this is our late night snack. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 